Today we're going to make raw food chocolate cake from my book, Dame Dorsey's Fairy Food, Vegetarian, Raw, and Vegan Cookbook Zine uh, Graphic Novel. Yay! <laughs> Yay! So to make this delicious raw food vegan chocolate cake, that contains no dairy, no wheat, you don't even have to bake it, and it's all natural sweeteners, and it's made completely from fruit and nuts. First, you're gonna want to prep it by grinding up a cup of nuts, or maybe even a cup and a, of a, and a half in a blender, and make it into a powder, and pour it into a bowl. It depends on how much of the cake that you want. The next thing you do is you're gonna make a binder for the cake to bind all of the ingredients together. Um, today I'm making it with these dates. So I'm cutting up the dates and I'm putting them into smaller pieces and pitting them and taking out the center so that they can be added very gradually into the blender. Because if we do it like this, it will not break the blender. When it comes to making raw food stuff, you want to make sure to always add everything very gradually. And uh, if you do it that way, you don't need a really expensive Vitamix, even though, of course, we want that. But ideally, you know, just anybody can do this with a chopping board, a very good knife, and a simple kitchen blender. I try to keep this simple for you guys. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to sprinkle some raisins in here. Then we add our two cups of chopped dates, and then um, about half a cup of, all of coconut oil or olive oil, a dash of lemon, uh, two about two teaspoons or a dash of vanilla extract, um, a fourth of a cup of maple syrup, and then a dash of nutmeg and a dash of cinnamon, and then the. Uh, the ponzu sauce, and then a uh, uh, half a cup of cocoa powder, um, and blend it. So uh, while I'm blending it, you know, you could use um, the you could use soy sauce, lemon ponzu is what I use a lot, or Bragg's and Minos. Um, and I know it sounds weird to put like something salty inside of something sweet like dessert, but it's sort of a balance, so it creates like a harmony of sweet on salt but it's got way more uh, sweet so it just adds a little bit of a zing um once you've got the binder done we're gonna put the uh, the powdered nuts that we already made before into the mixing bowl and then we're gonna uh, once we put a, uh, about a cup and a half of the nuts in this mixing bowl we're gonna add the binder and then start mixing it up after this so um so that everything's all con a, a consistency of a cake that's what we're looking for here let's make it into the consistency of a cake the fun thing about this part is that uh once you've got it pretty much mixed you then start forming it with your hands basically like a kid playing with a mud pie um and you roll it into the little ball shape and then you put it on the plate and smash it down very very gently and make sure that it looks perfect and then using a spoon you can use the spoon to shape it even more perfectly although i just said perfectly not perfectly <laughs> So this is the, the next step is the exciting moment that we're going to learn how to make chocolate frosting out of an avocado. I know you can actually do this with raw food chocolate cake. It's really exciting. So you take one avocado, you cut it exactly in half, and then you take the knife and you, you twist it, and then you take the knife and chop it into the center of the avocado pit and pull it out because that way it's easiest to um, to take out the pit. You cut it into little squares and then you take a spoon and it makes it easier to scoop out all the segments and put them into your blender. 
And now that you're in your blender, you're gonna add, oh, you put the whole avocado in there. And now that they're, it's in the blender, you're gonna add the rest of your ingredients. A little bit of the maple syrup, a dash of the lemon juice, a little bit of cinnamon, and a lot more of that cocoa powder again. Um, a little bit of the uh, coconut oil and some more vanilla. Uh, the cocoa powder, let's see, that was probably about a table, tablespoon and a half. I cook very organically, so it's hard for me to know the exact measurements, but they're all in the fairy food cookbook, so don't worry about that. Um, uh, the, one of the reasons I'm making this video for you guys is so you can, I cook very organically, so one of the things you can do is like watch how much I put in, so you can kind of do it on your own too. Um, you get a feel for what it's supposed to even look like at all. Because, <laughs> uh, you know, like raw food is really different than normal food. So I started frosting the cake. I made it perfect as always. And now I'm cutting these into perfect little circles, each about, about a fraction of an inch in diameter. I don't know exactly how much of an inch that was, but as you can see, they are perfect. Now I'm setting them perfectly along the edge of the cake, decorating it. Uh, and I love how when you cut the little strawberries in half, they look like a heart, it's really exciting. I'm putting them all the way around the edge. And then I'm going to put the quarter section in the middle. I cut them into quarters and then I put them to make a little shape of a square. And then the wonderful thing that you can use instead of sprinkles is bee pollen. So I sprinkled it with the bee pollen and now it's really fun for your favorite vegan's birthday party. It's really delicious and it's very um, rich. So you really don't need a big slice, but it's got, a, it packs a real, a lot of punch. It's very delicious. And I hope you enjoy making your vegan raw food chocolate cake. Special thanks to Jay Pleasant on camera. Sound by Josh Seth Lane. Music by Death by Doll. Special thanks to Skippy Spiral. And the Doll Wranglers, Tyler Byers and Zoe Eagles. DameDarcy.com. Support us on Patreon.